Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and one of the perks of working in TV film is free meals all the time, unloaded. So I'm gonna take you through a what I eat in a day on set, but the trick is I'm actually vegan and let's see what options I have. Now between the crafty snacks and the actual catering, I can usually figure out something if the vegan options are limited, but I'm actually going to a new set today, so let's see what happens. Ah, you gotta love those city streets, so clean. On a random side note, since I just happened to be passing it, I went to the summer club a few weekends ago and it was so much fun. It's a rooftop pool party situation that's in Queens. Highly recommend it, highlight of my summer. I'm on set and here are the breakfast options. It's usually pretty much anything you can think of. And then I like to think outside of the box and I always try to go with avocado toast if they have it, but I don't have them toasted because usually they put that on the grill and I've had like pieces of egg on it before, but I had the green juice and I also had a fruit cup as well. This is crafty. They have snacks throughout the day. This is the morning version of the snacks. It's different from catering if you're following along. This is actually one of my favorite crafty companies because they always have so many options and it really does make a difference. Halfway between breakfast and lunch, Crafty will put out a hot meal and I hit the jackpot today because it was tofu with bok choy and some yellow rice. Your girl was happy. Usually for that midday meal, they don't make a large amount, um, but being a stand-in, you're hired as crew, so you do get first dibs. I also know that no one's usually running for the tofu except me, so chances are I'll still be able to get it if I happen to be stuck on set for a long time. Finally, we're at lunch, and I hadn't been to this set before, so I didn't know what to expect. Unfortunately, there were not that many vegan options for this catering company. I don't hold it against them at all. They had so many other options, as you can see. Usually between the catering and the crafty, one or the other will be really vegan friendly, and so I'm glad that I got that meal earlier in the day. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. Here's what I'm working with. I got some brown rice, some potatoes, some green beans. I really don't like squash, but I got that. Got the eggplant, really don't like that. Got a salad. Um, so we're just gonna make it work. Uh, it is what it is. And then for comparison, for my non-vegan people out there, these are the options that you could have gotten. So. There's a lot, they did a great job. And honestly, it's just as well because I ended up having to run over to another set or actually I hopped in a lift to go get tested so I could be cleared to work the day after. So I did that on my lunch break and then came back. Snacks part two, usually after lunch, the snacks are more chips, more candy, things that are just gonna keep our energy going for the long days. I just got some chips and kept it moving. On a moment of downtime, I happened to look over and see this gentleman doing, I believe, Tai Chi in the park, and it was so relaxing. You can't hear in the background, but really there's nothing going on, like no sound whatsoever, and it is just so peaceful to watch him in his element. It just felt like sharing because it was just awesome. Definitely was a long day, but I'm trying to keep that hydration up. Uh, feeling awkward? Uh, okay, car drive by, please. Okay, thank you. All right, so I just got out. Look at that oily sheen. I just got out, it's like 5.30. As you can imagine, I'm starving because lunch was not the best but you know sometimes we win some sometimes we lose some we kept it going and something that happened on one of my previous set is that like once they realize that uh there are some people that can't eat certain things they take notice of that and they'll start adding more options in some more vegan options best case scenario usually is when someone in the cast or real higher up on set is vegan you'll automatically see vegan stuff in uh the lunches so um that happened actually on my most recent set is that they I saw that I did have many options and then over time they got better at adding more and then I was like, thank you guys. It's like, thank you for the beans. Um, yeah, it's that simple, but it's just so easy. Like just add some beans or whatever uh, and then I'm good to go. Not that it's all about me. Um, but anyway, I have some leftover uh, Korean vegan bulgogi that is from Trader Joe's that it's amazing. It was so good. I would get it a thousand times over. I'm almost done with it. I was able to have at least like three meals out of it. Oh, it's so good, I can't wait. I have like a tiny bit left. I'll probably mix that with something and then that'll be my dinner. So that was that set. And as luck would have it, I have another set that I'm working on tomorrow that I haven't been on. And I just love doing this. So I'm gonna do it again and we'll see what that set has. Uh, yeah, so I will check in tomorrow. Actually, I'll show you what I have for dinner. I'll check in tomorrow and I'll go from there. I do love how much money I save by having most of my meals on set. Oh, and I got this salad for free. They were giving it away near Grand Central the other day. So funny. Um, but yeah, I just added some mushrooms to it um, and then made that my salad for the evening. 
It's giving aesthetic. I'm just kidding. Today I woke up at eight o'clock so I could take hot yoga. I'm starting the day how I ended the day with some banana and peanut butter. I like to have a little something before class. Usually I have like a cliff bar, but I ran out of the ones I took from set, so <laughs> I have to do this myself. Um, but I'm just gonna add a little peanut butter to it and that'll be my pre-workout meal. Hydration station fill up before this class. Um, on this day, I didn't actually have to be to set till the afternoon, so I had the morning to myself, which was really great. But on the opposite side, that means that I have to provide my own meals. So I'm gonna have to make my own breakfast. This is my sloppy version of a breakfast quesadilla. Just shredded some cheese on here. I'm gonna let it melt. All vegan, obviously. I don't need to say that. And it is 12:16. This dip is so good. I'm gonna add some of that onto it as well. I definitely meant breakfast taco, but you get it. New set, new crafty. I missed the midday meal, but I actually came right in time for lunch. So that's actually the first thing we did. And they had so many options. I didn't even get all of them on video, but I can't wait to show you. This is what I ended up getting. Chickpeas and kale, a bean stew, and some tofu, which I was so happy about. I went right back and got some more. This is definitely one of those jackpot days where the catering came through. And then as I got my second bit, I realized I had gotten way too much, so I saved the rest and took it home. Here's a quick shot of what was available for the afternoon crafty. I ended up being done so quickly, so I just grabbed a snack and made my way home. So I just finished today's set, and oh my gosh, I wish I could have uh, filmed the lunch for you guys because there was so much stuff. So I tried to, I missed like all the main meat stuff because I wasn't over in that section, but they had oxtail, they had some sort of chicken, a fish, maybe a steak, I don't even know. They had a whole salad bar, which I haven't seen salad bar since before COVID because um, usually you would dish it out yourself, but they did it for us this time. But there was pasta salad, tuna salad, then the vegan items that I got, um, which were really good. And then I loved how eco-friendly this set was. You can always tell like the budget of any set based on like their food <laughs> um, because the budget was so high here. And I just got some pretzels to go just because I was leaving. But um, even looking at some of the items that they had in the crafty, I was like, oh wow, this is fancy. So it's just the difference of being able to walk into a set and they already have the vegan options. The chickpeas was cracking me up so much. It tasted really good, but it was so oily as you saw. I was like, I feel like my arteries are clogging right now but this is the type of food that I actually enjoy eating. Anyway, yeah, so that was that day in comparison. So it's really funny when you have like all the options versus other sets where you don't have any options. That is my Russian roulette of what I eat in a day as a vegan when working on set. By the time I got home, I ended up having some pretzels and hummus as well as the leftover lunch that I had and it was delicious. Let's have a conversation down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.